We all know that e-bikes can be really expensive, but if you're like me, you love looking at your e-bike, sitting on your e-bike, squeezing those brake levers, just looking at it lovingly. But sometimes you just can't afford all those expensive bits. So today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at all those cheaper bits, parts on a budget. You can bling your e-bike up for not a lot of cash. Some of these upgrades are gonna make your bike look better and some will enhance performance. So one of my best upgrades for not a lot of cash is popping down your local hardware store, grabbing a selection of colored zip ties. We've got yellows, reds, greens, things that are gonna match my bike behind me. I can bling up these little cable clips, I can release, uh, replace them with some colored zip ties. Zip ties are also good for replacing those C-clips that have a habit of breaking or getting lost. So yeah, really inexpensive way of adding a little bit of color and a little bit of bling to your bike. So your e-bike might have come with a set of old school slip-on grips. These things can be a nightmare, especially in winter. If you get water going on, they can develop into a dreaded throttle grip. It basically means that grip spins around the handlebar. What I would suggest is spending that little bit more money, getting a lock-on style grip. That way it's gonna pinch on that handlebar. Obviously available in a lot more colors as well, so you can add a little bit of color and that bit of extra security. And of course, there's a contact point for your bike. So spending that little bit more money is gonna end up in you in a bit more control and a lot more comfortable on your e-bike. So a real nice upgrade for just a few pence is these colored cable crimps. They replace that factory fitted silver bore on mine on the back of the bike. Add a bit of color to your rear mech, drop a post, things like that. Get one of these on there, add a little bit of bling. Looking after those valves on your e-bikes are also really important. Often overlooked area is the valve cap. Obviously if these become split or damaged, they're gonna allow gunk and water things in. That could make that uh, valve sticky and you're gonna be unable to undo it if you need to adjust that pressure. So upgrading that cap to a decent alloy cap makes all the difference. Look after those valves, you're not gonna get in trouble out on the trail. Really nice way of adding a bit of color to the front of that e-bike is by replacing the stem spaces. These are found underneath the stem, sometimes on top of it, just add a bit of height to that bar. They're available in carbon, lots of different colors as well. Just remember if you are replacing them, just to replace exactly the same amount and the same depth as what you took off that bike. It's a real cheap upgrade for your cockpit area, so add a few zip ties to stop those cables rubbing together and hitting off each other. Obviously available in lots of colors, but the next step up is to add a bit of spiral wrap to them. This is available in lots of colors too, but it just means all in one, you can place all those gear and brake cables all together in one nice, sweet looking line. Obviously gonna protect that bike and stop all that noise from the front end too. Something that's nearly free to do on your e-bike is a detailed clean. I mean, getting into every single nook and cranny, every chain link, every single bolt, inspecting them, go around cleaning it up. It's also a really good way to inspect the damage and wear on your e-bike too. So all the e-bike manufacturers do a really good job of protecting that chain stay as well, protecting it from all the chain slap. You can step it up a little bit more though, just add in a cheap chain stay protector, it's just a thin bit of neoprene, but it's gonna make all that difference out on the trail. You're not gonna hear that chain slapping away at the back of the bike. So if your e-bike came with a set of plastic pedals, strongly advise upgrading them, just to aluminium version with a little bit longer pins things like that. When it gets sketchy out there, wet and slidey in the winter, it's gonna give you a lot more confidence out there. So the factory fitted gear cables, the inner and the outers, can be quite low quality on some of the e-bikes. Replacing that with high quality outer and inner can make all the difference when it comes to those winter months. It's gonna be nice and slick and your shift is gonna be crisp and spot on. Nice little upgrade for your battery is a battery cover. It's basically a neoprene sleeve that slides over that battery, protecting it from knocks and scrapes. The other thing it's meant to do is hold a little bit more temperature in that battery, which in theory should give you a little bit more range too. So a lot of manufacturers recommend removing that battery when transporting your bike. Obviously by removing that battery, 
gonna leave the connections open to water, dust and grime, especially if it's on the back of your car, up on the roof, things like that. It's gonna get water in it. So buying one of these little pin cover protectors, it's a pretty good idea. It just stops all those elements getting in there. You whip it off when you get to the trails, plug your battery in, you're all set. So that's it, how to pimp your e-bike on a budget. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you wanna see more videos like today, we've got my trials to trails video up here. Really cool video, that one. And Steve's epic ride as well. Check that one out of Hannah Barnes up in Scotland. Really cool video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Drop us some comments in the box below. Let us know your favorite upgrade or any ones that we've missed. Be good to hear from you guys and see you in the next one.